Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome craft watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all at this moment. So whenever you do see this, it will be the right time. This is a timeless reading and as always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. Practice using your own discernment. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. And if you are interested in a personal reading, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all. Okay, so Capricorn, you have a very strong awareness of like what's going on around you, um, what's going on within you, and trusting it. So trusting yourself. I see what's manifesting for you is like a new level of awareness on top of the one you already have. The high priestess, this is like intuitive hits, intuitive downloads. This is also your dreams. Um, your, I see some of you in your dream state getting like downloads. So there is like some sort of new level of awareness of what is going on around you, your intuition, a lot going on with spirit. So crown chakra, crown chakra. Yeah, literally highlighted here. Your crown chakra is um, opening. It's opening and that's your connection to spirit. That's your connection to the divine. Um, you may have been feeling it, sensing it, sensing spirit around you. And I see that it's, you're coming to a place of like, Going more down a, a road of spirituality, finding satisfaction with where you are in your life, the present moment, and not what you have, not the material side of it. So nine of pentacles. And mind you, materially, like financial, financially and career-wise, you're looking independent, very independent, self-sufficient. Um, but looking for a deeper meaning than just the material, than just like our desires and the ego, because material does not fulfill, material is, does fulfill our desires, but only for a limited time. So I just see things getting really deep with you. Like your, your thought patterns are getting deeper. You're thinking deeper into life, deeper into yourself, uh, knowing a lot, saying very little and being low key, being low key. So a lot that you do know, um, some of you are aware of someone around you who is going through some sort of financial or material change where it does look like there is someone who could be struggling here. Um, that you are aware of. Meanwhile, I see you really doing whatever it takes to manifest a, a new a new beginning here within a partnership and alliance so you do have an, a partnership or alliance where somebody is wanting to make you a, an offer make you some sort of offer to work on something to grow on something with you is excited about uh coming to some sort of agreement here i'm seeing tattoos someone could have tattoos but right now, it does look like some of you are looking at a situation like it's things are quiet. Um, interesting. Things are quiet. And I see you as being very, very quiet right now. And I see you as um, holding back. Some of you are holding back certain things that you know, certain information that you have here. Um that has maybe even been stressing you out a little bit here. I'm hearing talk to someone. So for some of you, I do see what's manifesting is like you talking to someone about what you know, about what's what's going on here, even if it's a, a little bit. 
you know, with that page of swords, even if it's um, giving a little bit of information as to what it is that you know, because I see some of you have been holding back here um, when it comes to um, certain information. And the more you hold back, it's only going to stress you out in the end. It's only going to bring you anxiety. Um, and it's important to talk to someone. Hmm. I feel like there is a situation that kind of affects you in a way, but it's not directly tied to you, where someone around you is going through some sort of tower moment that they're trying to move forward from, move on from, that has caused some sort of uh, abrupt change in their, in their finances here, which in some way kind of affects you if you care about this person. But I see this as like not really being direct, directly tied to to you in a way interesting but whoever um it is i see this person as kind of like juggling or going back and forth with a decision here interesting this is somebody who has withdrawn and they're viewing you as a hermit. So they're viewing you as, as hermiting and isolation um, or even having doubts, even if that's you're not isolating yourself. They see you as just having certain doubts about something, about them, about um, an offer, about being able to work on things here. And I see them as kind of going back and forth here and trying to make a wise decision. But... It, I see this person as wanting to come back around. So it feels like something is coming back around here or someone is coming back around after have withdrawn. It looks like this person has been fighting the urge to, to come back. But yeah, strength reverse is... Um, I see this person as no longer wanting to hold back. Whoever this person is, they're feeling very vulnerable at this moment. And they're seeing you as, as the lover. So they're seeing you as somebody who they want a relationship with. They want to get closer to. But for some reason, it feels like they're unable to do that at this moment because of whatever um, financial situation they're, they're kind of going through right now at this moment. What is this awareness for Capricorn? Um, accelerated motion. Okay. So it looks like some sort of timeline here with you and a situation is about to move very quickly. Um, that you may already have this, this awareness that something is coming in or some sort of um, communication is coming in very soon here. Things moving forward very quickly. Ooh, material harvest. I feel like you already know that you have a, a harvest coming in, material harvest, that you're going to be able to take care of yourself. You're going to be very stable. Your situation is going to end up stabilizing. If I feel like you already know that, but it's I see you as like kind of still stressing over it. Still stressing over it, um, but but intuitively knowing that it's all going to be okay. With this partnership and alliance, this is like help, or this is this is some sort of support coming in um, in a situation here to help something grow. Okay, so it does look like there is going to be um, like a, a conversation. Even if it's it's a small one. Tell me about this page of swords. Okay, a decision. Okay. I see I see a decision coming in. With this with this mental conflict, it feels like some of you are um, have been looking for more clarity here 
or searching for clarity like I'm literally seeing someone as like view looking at all these different tarot readings looking for an answer but the answer you already have it it's all you already have the answer it's like you already have that knowing yeah you you have this this um like olive branch this new opportunity coming in here where things are going to be okay some of you are are very paranoid or feeling threatened by things but in the end it's okay the emperor this is like you taking charge of your life you um gaining control over a situation success anything else capricorn needs to know ten of wands okay yeah so you are very close to the end of a of a burden burdensome journey i see you've been some of you have been feeling like you've been holding a lot of weight on your shoulders or some of you feel like you've been the one putting in a lot of work a lot of effort where other people have been lacking in a way um, to the point where it's felt like a burden to you because you're now picking up the slack for other people or you're now in this position where um, you have no other choice to. But this is telling me uh, after the 10, of the ten, we go back down to, to one, which is that, that new beginning where you are releasing these burdens, you are letting go of the burdens and, and the, the trauma, the trials and tribulations. It's like you're very close to the end of a journey that has been... Um, heavily on your mind third eye chakra wow literally so much going on with your um with your chakras connected to, to spirit your third eye and your crown chakra which is opening here, which is like, Spirit is like literally like, listen to your intuition, trust yourself, trust, trust that things are going to be okay, trust the information you already have. Some of you are trying to look at a situation too logically, um, and it kind of blocks from that intuition, but there is clarity coming in. So I'm seeing the number seven, five, one, two, and three. Those numbers, they could be related to birthdays or special days. I'm seeing the letter C, F, M, A, P, L. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.